Welcome back once again for another video. Today we're going to be talking about why the quality of music is declining. I mean, is it just me or music nowadays kind of suck? I mean, apart from the fact that people say it's just this generation gap, I'm pretty sure there are other factors at play here. I think the main reason why music is in decline when it comes to quality is because music has become too easy to make. Firstly, there's drum machines. Instead of real drums, drum machines have become the number one choice when it comes to making music nowadays, especially in pop and rap music. It's easier to make. You got drum samples or you can also construct your own drum beats. And all this can be done with just a laptop in your bedroom. To record real drums, you gotta have a drum set, a bazillion microphones, a whole lot of gear in a studio. You need a skilled drummer, a studio engineer, and it's really time consuming. Number two, the ability to edit any instrument. If you don't have the skills, you hire sessionists. But the budget to hire sessionists is way too high. So they actually hire crappy musicians. But when they do this, they need to fix all the mistakes done by these crappy musicians by editing them in a computer software. The drums can be edited, the guitars and bass can be edited, even the vocals can be edited. Being able to edit is not a bad thing. It actually makes the process way easier. But overdoing it does make music sound a little too robotronic, don't you think? You lose that dynamic of a human stroke. You lose that vibe, that soul, that quality. As a result, musical skills have become less of an importance. Today's music is just a vocalist with average backing tracks, mainly dominated by pop music, but that's essentially what music is today. Music used to be a group of musicians in a band, each bringing their own skill and style to the song. The dynamic between the members was the beauty. Number three, quality versus quantity. So music has become easier to produce than ever before. Everything can be done from your own bedroom. Easier music production causes faster music production. Faster music production causes oversaturation of music. This makes it extremely hard to find truly exceptional music. And faster music production is also the reason why music quality is in decline. Making music used to be an art, which takes time. Now it's like an assembly line in a factory. In 2023 alone, 100,000 songs were added to music streaming platforms like Spotify and Apple Music. That's more than one song per second in an entire year. So this begs the question, why people don't appreciate music like we used to? And the simple answer is, music has become too easy to consume. I'm talking about music streaming platforms. With the rise of music streaming platforms like Spotify and Apple Music, the entire music archive is now available and accessible for free or for a monthly subscription of 15 ringgit, Spotify. So essentially what's happening now is that we have an oversupply of music. Oversupply of music causes people to lose interest or to value them less, especially the kids of today. Back in the day when we want music, we need to work a job or borrow money from our parents or whatever to buy a cassette. We would ride our bikes to the nearest record store, we'd buy the cassette, bring it home all sweaty and smelly. We would sit in our room, listen to the entire album without the ability to skip songs, mind you. We read the lyrics on the back of the album cover and admire the beautiful artwork it has, read the information it has, who played what, what's the name of the producer, all this meant something. Now kids just open Spotify and click on the song they wanna hear and skip to the next one if they don't like it. There is no sweat equity put into obtaining it. I'm not saying technology is bad for music. It's just that when music became too easy to make and too easy to get, the quality drops and music itself lost its significance. These music streaming platforms are doing business. They don't care about music innovation, groundbreaking experimentals, and pushing the frontier of 
audio creation. They fix the algorithms and tell you which songs sit at the top of the charts. And this is not based on how good a song is, but rather how many streams the song gets. And even this is sometimes determined by the highest bidders. Streams can be paid for, and the higher you pay, the longer you stay at the top of the charts. And the result? People settling for mediocre music. And eventually they lose interest altogether. They don't dig deeper to find that quality music that actually has substance. Good music still does exist. Trust me, they're out there. You just gotta go and find it. You gotta dig. And you won't find them at the top of the charts, at the top 10 music of the day or whatever Spotify does. And that's essentially why kids today do not value and appreciate music the way we used to. I'm not saying that back in the days there were no bad music. There were tons of it, a lot. But every music, even the bad ones, feel like they were crafted. They took the trouble to write it and record it and it just so happens that the song just didn't catch traction or whatever. But today it's different. Anyone can make music. That's why the music scene is full of trash. And among these trash, there are a few hidden gems. You just gotta look for it. That's the only way. Well, love to know your thoughts on this. Leave a comment and thanks for watching.